Have you ever wondered why some diet trends seem to work for some, but not for others? It's a question that's probably crossed your mind more than once. Diet trends, those fashionable food philosophies that sweep through our culture have become a staple of our modern times. They're as varied as they are numerous, with names like keto, paleo, vegan, and intermittent fasting becoming almost household terms. Yet despite their popularity, these diet trends are often shrouded in a fog of uncertainty and confusion. Why? Well, it's because they're often backed by studies that seem to contradict each other. One day a study claims that keto is the ultimate weight loss solution, the next, another research argues the opposite. And let's not forget those personal anecdotes that add another layer of complexity. So what's the real deal? How do we sift through the noise and understand what's what? Let's dive into the facts and misconceptions about these diet trends. Now, let's look at these popular diet trends and how they compare to each other. Firstly, we have the keto diet, which is characterized by low carbs and high fat. This diet pushes your body into a metabolic state known as ketosis, where it burns fat for energy. While effective for weight loss, it may be challenging for some to sustain due to the strict carb restriction. Next is the paleo diet, which promotes eating whole foods, lean proteins, fruits and vegetables, while avoiding processed foods and grains. It's based on the premise of eating like our prehistoric ancestors. It's a great way to consume nutrient-rich foods but can be limiting and expensive to maintain. Then we have the vegan diet, which excludes all animal products. It's renowned for its potential to improve heart health and reduce the risk of certain diseases. However, it requires careful planning to ensure you're getting all necessary nutrients. Lastly, there's intermittent fasting, which isn't so much about what you eat, but when you eat. By eating within a specific time frame, it can help with weight loss and improve metabolic health. On the flip side, it may not be suitable for those with certain health conditions or lifestyle requirements. Comparing these diets, it's clear they all have their benefits and potential drawbacks. They cater to different lifestyle choices, health goals, and personal preferences. But one common thread that ties them all together is their emphasis on whole and unprocessed foods. While each diet has its unique approach, they all agree on one thing, the importance of whole foods. So what works and what doesn't in these popular diet trends? Let's start with what does work. The common threads you'll find in successful diets are consistency, balance, and a focus on whole foods. This means sticking to your chosen diet plan, not just for a week or two, but as a long-term lifestyle choice. Balance, on the other hand, is about ensuring your diet includes a variety of nutrients. It's not all about protein or cutting out carbs, it's about having a bit of everything in moderation. And then, there's a focus on whole foods. That's fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, foods that are as close to their natural state as possible. Now let's talk about what doesn't work. Extreme restrictions tend to backfire. Sure, you might lose weight initially, but the moment you reintroduce those forbidden foods, the pounds creep back on. Ignoring your personal health needs and lifestyle is another pitfall. A diet that works for a marathon runner won't necessarily work for someone with a desk job. And then there's the trap of expecting quick fixes. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a healthy body. What's more important is personalization. Your diet should be tailored to your individual needs and preferences. Consider your lifestyle, your health goals, and yes, even your taste buds. Remember, the best diet is not a trend but a consistent, balanced, and enjoyable way of eating that suits your lifestyle and health needs. 